Fully integrated product. A fully integrated system product. NVIDIA, the NVIDIA grid. What you're looking at is the NVIDIA grid. Each one of these servers are designed and optimized for computer graphics. And within each one of these servers are packed full of GPUs. Just packed full of GPUs. And all of these GPUs are able to run concurrently, supporting many concurrent users at one time. Initially, we'll be able to support something along the lines of 24 concurrent users on one computing node. The way to think about that is, today, your PC supports one. And so we'll be able to support 24 times more concurrent users right off the bat with a computer that occupies about the same amount of space as a desktop computer. So this is the NVIDIA grid. Um, well, let's, uh, let's um, compare it to a few things. So this particular rack has about 20 grids, grid servers in it. It's packed with about 240 NVIDIA GPUs, which gives you an aggregate 200 teraflops of computational, GPU computational performance, which translates to about 720 Xbox 360s. Now, just to put it in perspective, 720 Xbox 360s is 10 racks. It would occupy the volume of about 10 of these racks, basically going all the way down the stage. It would consume about five times as much power as this one, not to mention all the software that makes it possible for us to provide the connection broker with the end user that comes to enjoy the game. Um, all of the uh, load balancing and the quality of service provisioning um, and promising that that quality of service is now delivered on this particular piece of software. It is a, it is a virtualized piece of software, essentially a hypervisor that supports both CPUs and GPUs. Why don't we see what it can do? And so uh, let's introduce uh, Andrew Fear. Come on up here, Andrew. Manager for for NVIDIA Grid.